No. All right, mic check one two. Mic check one two. Flight one twenty one point four. Your dog DJ Match is checking back in here, man. I got me a guest in here tonight. Uh, you can say one of the the legends of the B, one of the infamous infamous members of the class of two thousand seven from Westgate High School, Mr. Clifton Williams the third. Chip. Yo, it's Clifton Williams. It's Clifton. Ninja Gang. Yeah, man. So like, what you? What's been up with you? Tell us about Hollywood Cliff. What's been up with me? Um, I've basically been on my grind as far as the acting and the music is concerned. Um, I've been auditioning for commercials, shot a few movies, um, signed with new management, working on the third mixtape. That's Skinner what's Bones. up. I already got the two mixtapes out while I was on mixtapes. Make sure you get those if you haven't. Just performed in my great hometown in New Iberia, <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah, I, I was out there, man. I, man, I was out there. I, I seen it. I, I witnessed it. Perform Runaway. Dedicated to my pops. Rest in peace, Clifton Williams Jr. The great. The legend. The foundation. <laughs> 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 yeah, the foundation. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, um, a lot of people, a lot of people know I know who you are. A lot of people in Southwest Louisiana trying to find out who you are since since the making of the Barry. Mm-hmm. A lot of people want to know what's up with that. Oh, well, the Barry's the, just up and disappeared since you left him with the, the Hollywood. The Barry, the Barry was a little project I started um, back in 2006. Basically, chronicled my senior year at Westgate. High school. Shout out to the Tigers. Uh, basically, chronicle in my senior year, everything that went down in the classrooms, uh, outside of school, school functions. Season two was us wilding out, living free, wild. But yeah, they tried to shut that down. I guess they kind of somewhat did. YouTube, YouTube's whack for that. So I lost all those videos, but I was able to keep a few of them. So. The Barry kind of somewhat still lives on, and it kind of still lives on uh, with the Bee Life. That's that's New Iberia's uh, new new little show. Yeah, new little I've, I've seen that. <laughs> kind of upset. I never had a cameo on the Bee Life. I barely had a cameo on the Barry. Oh, jeez, you you was on that a little bit. You was on that a little bit. You made a few cameos. Yeah, had a few seasons like. Shout out to Tim Day, Adventures in Stiff Handings, Tim Dizzle. We all had to start somewhere, you know. We all got, I feel like we all got to start somewhere. No matter where you're at, you just can't become a victim of your surroundings. And it was pretty easy for me to get caught up in the crazy, the crazy shit that goes around, goes on around here in the B town. But you can't allow yourself to fall victim to that. You got to try to make a way out, some kind of way. If nobody's handing you those opportunities, you need to create those opportunities for yourself. And before anyone would put me in front of a camera, I did it myself and broadcast to myself to the world. So, and because of that, I have fans who have been with me since since then, since the Barry, since I was just putting random videos up on YouTube. So, shout out to those people who sticking by my side, even though I, you know. Even though I'm on TV now, you can see me on national TV. These people held me down. And you can only see me on the computer screen, so I appreciate them. Yeah, man, so what you got coming up? What do I have coming up? Uh, I did this horror movie called Bunyan. Yeah, man. As in yeah. Paul Bunyan. So so basically what that's about, like Paul Bunyan comes back and like... Evil, giant, monstrous Paul Bunyan basically chopping down teenagers at a first defenders camp in the woods shooting that was crazy it was crazy we were in the woods we shot at the uh los angeles a uh, rainforest rainforest national forest no rainforest but uh giant bugs uh Lots of big mosquitoes. There's mosquitoes around around here, but they don't compare to the ones crazy bugs while filming that movie. I will never forget that. 
But yeah, coming from New Liberia and finding myself in a rainforest, jumping around, running from a 15 foot tall monster man, or at least pretending to do that, was it was a good experience. I hear you, man. Like um, so, what you got going on with Cliff? Like what Cliff? What does Cliff have under his under his sleeve? What do you mean? <laughs> What are you doing? All right, we know you got the music game. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's up with these videos. When when the videos coming back, man? Like like the berry or whatever you got, like um, the hills. What, what was it called? <laughs> Yo, you talking about drama hills? Drama hills, yeah. yeah drama hills. Well, you see, I was working with um, I don't. Basically, it's just me. I just need a camera. Basically, it's like I don't. The the the, the tools needed to to do all this is is it's not available at the moment but um as soon as i get those resources i'm ready i just got approached by a uh, production company i uh, one of my friends is starting a production company plenty pennies media and uh she wanted me to basically revive drama hills and bring it back and feed it to a larger scale get it to a bigger audience because it was a good show and i want to bring it back so i felt like it was the black jersey shore <laughs> it's basically I don't know, a little web series i created while I was going to school in Hollywood, the American Musical Dramatic Academy in Hollywood. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, I graduated from there in uh, April of, oh, no, April 2010. Yeah, April 2010, I believe. Are you single, son? In the spring? Am I single? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, I know there's a couple the of... The question came out of that field, son. Because I, I knew um, Easter Sunday you were signing tits. I was signing boobs Easter Sunday, yeah. So, if I had a girlfriend, then me signing boobs probably wouldn't go so well with the missus. So, I just kind of like to avoid that whole girlfriend <laughs> label situation. Oh, listen, until I feel like I'm where I'm at in my career. So I guess you could say right now my, my girlfriend is my career. And we be making love. So we've ha- we're, we're not having any complaints. So no complaints. That'll be a, that'll be part one. That'll be part one. <laughs> part one. Still alive. Okay. Still alive, but that'll be part one. I was about to go with that. I was about to go. I was going with the flow. Yeah, but that'd be that's pretty fresh. Yeah. 